you just drove through Fall River or read the newspaper headlines, you might think only that it's a city full of low-income people, most of whom are dealing with low educational attainment, high rates of unemployment, crime, substance abuse, and chronic health conditions. Once one of the wealthiest mill towns in America, Fall River now houses many recent immigrants and folks who struggle every day to lead a decent life and who want to live a long and healthy life to safely raise their children and to be happy. What's remarkable about this city, though, is the transformation that's taking place behind the headlines. No other city in Massachusetts has engaged its population in doing more over a longer period of time to make improvements in factors such as health behaviors, clinical care, social and economic factors, and the physical environment that will have the greatest impact on the overall health of its residents. Hi, I'm Ed Lambert, and in 2003, during my tenure as mayor of Fall River, I was approached by members of Partners of a Healthier Community to work with them to develop a comprehensive plan to address the many health challenges facing our citizens. What emerged was the Healthy City Fall River Initiative, a project that coalesced the energy and ideas of residents and other stakeholders to see how we could turn around high rates of tobacco use, poor nutrition, lack of physical exercise, and other conditions that contribute to high rates of heart disease, diabetes, and other chronic illnesses that beset our community. With very little money, but with a lot of cooperation, our community leaders ran programs to address community safety and substance abuse problems, environment and recreation resources, and health education. We included adult education, housing and community planning, projects not usually associated with health. Four years ago, we also started to look at our policies and our environment to see if we could improve the conditions that affect our health, like providing a healthier diet in our schools or making improvements to our parks, playgrounds, and even our streets. Now we have new school buildings with wellness policies, healthy meals, nutrition education, and more physical activity for our children. We have an annual fitness challenge that attracts hundreds of adults and more than 10 walking routes throughout the city. We're coming down hard on drinking and drug use with stronger ordinances, and we're motivating our students to stay in school to get the kind of ed education that they'll need to succeed in our knowledge-based economy. Hi, I'm Will Flanagan, Forever's current mayor, and I'm proud that I've inherited the work that partners for a healthier community, the Healthy City of Forever Initiative, and thousands of people who live and work in this city have done to make our lives healthier. Since I was first elected a few years ago, we've continued to create sustainable policies and environmental changes which support healthy eating and active living. Just last year, our youth organized to ban the sale of tobacco products in all of our pharmacies, and we now have 14% fewer smokers than we did a decade ago. Our rate of youth violence is down because we have invested in our most at-risk young people with social support and education that meets their needs. Our two community health centers recently moved into brand new state-of-the-art facilities in the heart of the two of our poorest neighborhoods. And we've ramped up improvements to our streets, parks, and open spaces that will make it easier for future generations to lead healthier lives. I invite you to take a good look at the Healthy City Forever website that details the thousands of actions we've taken and will continue to take to ensure that our children and our grandchildren live longer and healthier lives than our parents and our grandparents.